forbidden map, the one that we never got to see in Copenhagen. Now takes to the stage here in Chengdu and Maos, they've got a score to settle. But G2 are very much awake now. Took them a while to arrive in this semi-final. And we're going to start this one off fast with a quick B play in the pistol from G2. Leading the charge was Monacy, but Exertion bids him farewell. The dual Berettas on a tear, but as has been the case, Nico in pistols is not to be underestimated. Shui run down, and now Nico does have to do it alone. Four kills and one health in a 3v5 clutch up for Nico. That is what the people want here in China. And now Mal's have a monster to battle. That is one way to start. Nico and pistol rounds, man. It's it's so scary. And it's so consistent as well. He's always up for a multi-kill. And, and when, when you've got someone like that, who can you can just bank on in those pistol rounds, man. It gets you off to such a good start. That's what G2 are trying to do right now. There's this four spy from Maus. We didn't get to see that on the previous map. They played the full eco. So let's see if they've got any tricks up their sleeve. Nice and tight on this T side. Trading out on A. They show early monster control and then G2 go back to that top site where only Torshi Scout sits. They'll clear Brolin before they get there or at least they'll try. Hunter finds that kill and that's opened up the runway for G2. Even the Flash is going to keep a bit of a stack here. Torshi gets that spot though and now start to scramble. Oh, good tag downrange off of the Scout. Mao's moving in late and already blocked off by these smokes. They're either coming through them. They might be left saving here, trying to land something. They've got boosts. They've got gimmicks. But they decide it's not worth giving this one a go. Mao's may have a five-map win streak on overpass. A very legit win streak at that. But we saw G2 play this game yesterday. And against a team that maybe not in the most recent past has been the best overpass team in the world, VP. G2 managed a seven round T side in that game. They looked really, really solid. That's despite losing the pistol as well. And they closed it out regulation. So we know G2 can do this. There is no certainty for Maus. And the questions are crumbling up in front of the light. Oh, once again, brought to the front. Keeping that force by for one more. As G2 plant their feet on this T side. Heavy lean down towards B for G2. They leave one man over in middle. They are full grouped here. Nico lobbing out a bit of util, making it look like a default round from G2, but that's not the case. They want to exec on to B. They hear that Molly tagging. And Chewie's on borrowed time. Hunter will deal with him. Jimmy trying to make a play in. Reclaims one, but he is now the sole defender down on this B site. Nico's moved back away from middle, rejoin the rest of the pack. And G2 might look to long this one out a little longer. 
disappearing through the monster smoke. It goes eerily quiet down here at B. And so in this silence, Mauser will maintain the double A stack. Jimmy's even moving away. G2 plan on re exeking into this B site. They've lobbed through all the util now. Right as Jimmy's up and left, he's going to try to get back in. But this doesn't come without risk. He could get caught crossing. Makes it down. MP9, all he has to make a difference. And it's just the one and done. Clean response from Nico. Clean has been the name of the game for Nico. Not just in the playoffs, but especially in this series. right off nuke if we look at the score lines of ancient and even the start of this third map nico has been a nightmare oh it's a bit ugly here and there but they won't let him get out of course she forced to save the scout G2 stick the landing up against the force by not once but twice over. So an early timeout used for Maus as they now look to embark on their first rifle round in this final map. And Maus need all the CT side rounds they can get right while well, we already talked about G2 having a solid T hop against VP. Like Maus, they've had a great streak, but that is on the you know, fast, the vast majority of it has been off of dominant CT halves, starting CT, just about closing it out T side. So there is that in the back of your mind. But they can't afford to go quiet in this first half. Right now, G2 are running the board, but here is that AWP for Torshi, all the trimmings. Everything they need. Honestly, with a good spawn for me, he looks to get involved with his AWP early. He wants the short fight right now. Oh, it's close. Exertion will live the night. He even gets aggressive again, oh! but immediately punished. Monacy with the turnaround. And so that's how he makes his presence felt. That's how he lets them know about the AWP. That's one way to get your first kill in the game. Very confident display. And his mechanics unrivaled. They were by Torshi on map one. This is a different story, a different monocy. She takes his orb, trying to find that head-to-head -head at B, but Monacy is nowhere to be seen. Back up on that top site, Nexa on a late lurk. He's got no util. This will be Nexa trying to fake things out on his own. Or if G2 get the entries, he can deny hunts. We'll see how this goes inside of the toilet smoke. G2 getting closer towards A, but so are Maus. A nice time to make this rotation. Three on top site and the orb. All the pieces in the right place, but can they hit their shots? Resmoking at toilets at the 30 second mark. That could be a big problem here. Next is about to confirm that this B site's looking pretty empty. Torshi up in the heavens. He's seen him. G2 are lobbing in an exec. They're coming back down. They were going to go rejoin Nexa. This one's gotten confused in the mid round. And so right now, Jimmy is the one in the firing line. Jimmy's the guy who's got to hold on. One kill on this bomb, one kill in the right place would have been enough. Bomb plot is just found for G2 with a second remaining. And that one second, that one kill on a Jimmy, that might make all the difference. Monacy and Hooksy left in it for G2. Hooksy struck down. Monacy's got to do it Whoa. alone. And four out of five, but he would have needed Whoa. the ace. It takes Torshi moving in and getting the trade to safeguard that round. Monacy is not playing around. This guy might have been slow to start in the series, but if it is opened, he means business. And still Miles fighting that round in a 4v5, despite every shot getting hit by Monacy.
could not have fired any more. A desperate call for G2, who are relying on Nexo, who's out B. He sees the Heaven player. He thinks that's all there is. He provides a path to rotate, and then Jimmy pushes in for the kill. G2 caught in the middle of no man's land. They still get a plant. They still make it competitive. And now they look to capitalize. Break Mouse's money while it's ripe for the taking. Tear it off that tree. Insertion now on a limb here. And he needs to move before that door smoke fades. Because there's no door on the hinges. Insertion gets spotted. They can pop through the smoke both sides. Can he escape just about? Shuey provides the cover. Spam to Hooksy. That's one way to do it. This time it's Mao's a man up, but Nexa contact sneaking in. Won't last long. Bit by bit, Mao's pick themselves up. Honestly, it to be the guy to go back and get the bomb. That leaves him a long way away from playing into the top site. Instead, it's going to have to be Nico. Torshi on a jump check. And in that moment, Nico has crept out and is now peeking from the bathrooms. He knows where this all lies. But RG2 able to turn this info into a kill. Torshi reposition here, and that should do him well. Three players over towards the top side for Maus. G2 are walking into an even battle, and that's if they even want to attempt this. That wall firing off might make them doubt it. Now they know it's in the middle of the site. It's a very hard position to uproot Torshi, and so uh, G2 call it off. Could have gone a lot worse. Three on five, they at least have something to show for it. But Maus, who as we set up, were on the edge of getting put back to Eco. They save themselves and keep five alive. I mean, if G2 won that round, it would have been a dominant T side. 5 1 almost certainly to begin. So that's extremely important for Miles to just keep this game competitive in the early stages. Yeah, I mean, Miles have to be winning out this CT side, right? So the early recovery bodes well for them. And uh, a flawless round, even lobbed in there, helps give them a bit more staying power. G2 saved on three. So it's pistols for Hooksy and Nexa. Hunter creeping up the connector as Torshi will lie in wait, but in danger of the timing being missed. Out on an island, out in the open, Hunter has secured a route into the top site, and G2 are coming quickly here. They've got no reason to slow down. They're all in, they're all behind Hunter, they believe in him. I mean, you, all, you never see AWPers that far extended in, in CS2. Maybe back in the old days, you would have the solo AWP playing deep toilets and four down on B. But if you're solo AWPing on top site, you're usually just sat back in the bomb site playing a safe position like default where you can jump, you can take multiple peaks from different angles. Instead, Torshi's holding a very aggressive line and he can't see the connector through the side of his scope. So G2 just waltz out. He doesn't even get to attempt the flick. He's just dead. Great call for G2 to speed up, but that's fed to them on a plate. They lift the lid off, they feast. Four to two now. And that's a bit of a devastating round for Miles to lose. They don't really get to play. That is a bit of a head scratcher to have. I mean, it all just came down to essentially not getting timing. Uh, that's such a, a scary spot to put yourself in, as you say, very exposed, hyper exposed. There's a world where you can hang around there for a bit, but just have to be more cognizant of the timings up through the connector. Real estate the mouse didn't have. You, you can't expect that G2 won't take space if you give it to them. Safe to say they're not that sort of team. Yeah, Hunter just walked the whole way as well, so there's not even sound cues for Torshi. It feels like they're going to come out mid before Connector. It's a good play for G2. The mouse have an answer. Look at this, Nexa walking the B play. Even though they flash this for info, he doesn't fire off. The Util will send him out of there. G2 aren't playing afraid right now. 
This time it's far more passive for Maus over on the top side. The only moves being made are down here towards B, and even then, they're, they're hardly aggressive. It's just a line taken over towards short. So the onus will be on G2 to be the ones kind of setting the play, making that happen in this round. And it looks like Nico is going to try exactly that right now. He bypasses these players in the bathrooms. Long is clear, but what can he really do with it? His team are going to root back. They're still going to get through this toilet setup. Two rifles, and they're not being too quiet about it. It's going to allow Shui to rotate up as well. Brolin in this very dangerous position. Can swing off contact, gets spotted. He still gets his kill though. Smoke is down. Brolin needs to pick his side to try and break it. They're looking the wrong way. Hooksy's running into walls and Torshi's getting damage off. Good flash, but doubled up for Torshi while flying. G2 are getting removed from the round and five alive for Maus to do it. Oh, discombobulated for G2. Could not get a grip on things. Running into smokes, running blind. That is ugly. But this whole series, we've just been trading rounds. It hasn't been super streaky. More so in those second halves. But mostly even splits in the first. I mean, you know when you're coming on an overpass, right? You're going to face an uphill battle at some point in the game. Once you get onto those T sides, the game is going to be long. It's going to slow right down. That comes with the territory. Oh, Torshi, not, not again. again. Not again. Oh, not again. Yeah. Torshi, another aggro line, and this time it's the close walk up from Hooksy that gives G2 the way in. And whenever they've got these kills, they follow through with the pace. This time with Hooksy falling out of the round. Flash. No time for this to go wrong. They try to set up Brolin with that flashbang. The nade could certainly find Monacy, but falls just shy of him. He gives a bomb over as well. It's a smart play. You don't want the low play to plant, especially not on this map, where nades on bombs are very common. That one goes out a bit early, but ultimately it will change nothing. G2 get a plant off of a very unfortunate entry on Maus. Torshi double scope there. Yeah, I mean, you know... I, it, felt, it felt like Maus had learned their lesson when it happened to them the first time, right? They went back to a way more passive hold in the follow-up round, and, it, and it, it did well by them. They found success on the back of it. They found a flawless round, no less. But that time there, Torshi double-scoped for a con fight. And so once more betrayed by the stance taken of Maus's AWPA. This is just going to wreck your confidence. You're, you're doubting your moves now on CT side overpass, which is, as we always say, an AWPA's paradise. Torchy's not going to know what's safe. He's not going to you know, be feeling the game like Monacy is, for example. So that's already a very a clear, identifiable issue for Maus. The two orbs just missing their mark. The other thing that's scary is this is building to be a really strong T side for G2. Yeah, once again. And even though they've had some missteps in there, they've had some awkward moments, clutches that haven't come through. The round counter is in their favor, and the money is as well. And if they break Maus here and now, suddenly they're, they're winning out the half on the T side, and that is a big problem for Maus. So this is really Mouse's chance to kind of keep the game in check. Don't let G2 run away with a commanding lead on the harder side. Porsche once again dons that off, and he's taken a similar line to the first fight he had, but this time it's a little different. Brolin has come over to help out, and he's holding the connector. So Torshi can't get walked on anymore. Still goes back very early in the round, right? Nothing wrong with that. Just, again, considering these long options. And G2 are taking them right now. Moving four players up on the long side. Nexa traditionally on that B lurk. He's trying to keep eyes on this lower site. He's only got two there, though. On 
as he scopes and moves up towards A. Torshi might get that head to head he's been dreaming of, but who hits harder right now? Oh, he's seen, seen them. Spotted. He's seen them. They're up close. He's ready for this. Torshi needs a kill to bring him back oh, in, but that is awkward. What? That was the golden opportunity for Torshi's AWP. He's cooked. He's feeling the weight of his shortcomings here is Torshi. He desperately needs something to bring him back into the fold. Brolin lends a helping hand to Mouse, covering fire from the connector, providing a path to the rotate. Yes. Torshi gets involved on that AWP. And Mouse, a convincing round put forward here. Some awkward moments in there, but they get back to their feet and they keep five alive as well. So that issue that they were running into, that idea that they were one round loss away from being broke, now gets brushed aside. Oh, okay. Careful though, you don't want to die after time and they are surrounding Monacy. He knows he's in trouble, but he will die after the clock expires. So that's no money, no orb, and plenty of problems for Monacy. Meanwhile, Torshi at least gets an orb kill after unscoping with them in his sights. It is feeling very uncomfortable right now. Thank goodness the rifles bail washes, Harry, for both teams, with the exception of that 1v1 down on B that Torshi does win in his defense. Every other round has been dominant for one team or another. This should be no exception. I was trying to level the playing field and only pistols in their way. are very aware of where G2 can be at. Brolin has pushed all the way up towards the ramp in mid. And so he's uh, controlling the entire map just from being here. And that allows a heavy lean down towards lower. The only angle Torshi has to worry about on the top site is the connector. And G2 are never going to go there. They pop flash through the monster smoke. It is a good flashback. Oh, no. A great flash! Nico with pistols! Let's carve the path back in for G2. Torshi needs that redemption arc and he needs it now. The nades rain in from the heavens. Torshi, he's been a problem in some of these rounds. Now he could be the solution. With that double, he's drawn the attention away from Brolin. And Brolin's backstab comes through. Next are left up all alone. Can he finish what Nico started? He can't. Torshi. They live and die by his AWP. And he recovers that round for the Mouse squad. Oh, that was just a sigh of relief for Mouse, really. Jimpat jumps the gun there. He hears the footsteps rushing monster, and so he turns into the flash. He's the anti-flash player. His teammate, blind as well, and triple entry comes through on monster side. That is literally worst case scenario for Mouse. Great play by G2, but they can't convert the post barn. Torshi gets a big triple, and Mao's are back in the game. Five all now. They can stem the bleeding of what has been a confident, progressing T side from G2. Torshi's confidence is back. He's making moves now. He's trying to set the precedent. Oh, sure, man. I gave you a couple of rounds, but now I want to take them away. And with that boost over towards Short and aggression coming through from exertion, man advantage is taken by force from the Mao's squad. Careful. Jimmy's getting walked on here. Hooksy is way deeper. Shuey's been sold there in that round. They had no clue Jimmy will recover, but not enough. One is not enough. A 3v3, G2 are so happy that they've scrapped their way back to an even odds battle here. 10 up, wait for the kill, wait for Mouse to come to you. That's exactly what G2 are doing. They're letting Monacy hold Monster and the re-aggression from Mouse might punish them. Nico. Oh! Next to not aware. Nico is, though. He knows that both players are right here, and it's him and Monacy left up in the two on three. Timing is bad, though. Exertion chases down Nico, oh. and Monacy's got to do it alone. First kill connects. There's still a lot more left to do for Monacy. Agile on the AWP and quick with it. Now just Brolin. Clash of the Titans here. It's Brolin dead! 
Ramsey! Rising to the occasion! Monster! Again and again on this B-bomb site. Monacy has been brutal. And this time he closes the clutch. Perfection. two timeout they want to capitalize on this they do not want this to even up it's either going to be a good half or a great half and they want the latter after a clutch round like that coming through from monacy you want to send maus into that second half feeling as low as possible and you could do that right now the buy for maus is anything but pretty Two rifles to work with, next to no utility. You're lacking the ability to take the pace out of G2 in this round. And one of these guns will fight early. Brolin up in middle, topping the charts for the Mouse squad, and he's got to keep that coming Ooh. through. They line up for him. And so Brolin makes that one M4 sing, but he won't live to tell the tale. Hooksy gives chase. And now Hooksy dons the AWP. Thank God no one's there. Full flash, but still, it's not a free round for Maus. It's all about the gamble, where G2 end up. Going back down towards lower, Maus have a lot of information. Torshi with that short angle. Jimmy taking Monster, but he might get early warning from these footsteps. With this position, he's going to hear them setting up. That can give Maus extra time. They can get into position. G2 need to clear their corners. Do you think they know? They're aware. Jimmy! Oh. One off the 5-7. Hooksy dead. Hunter and Nexa swung is. on. And so Maus, no money. But they run away with a 6-6. They tie this one up, heading into that final half of play. Split game heading into the final half of play. G2 put up six on their T side, but were unable to keep Maus down in the dumps heading into this second half. Some key clutches from Monacy. Pistol rounds are plenty from Nico. On the other side, heroes emerging in the form of Brolin and Exertion. It's all to play for here. Spot in the grand final on the line. And both teams trading blows. No clear winner yet. We're about to find out who will be our first grand finalist here in Chengdu. Yeah, this is a stacked playoff bracket. And a side-by-side -side game at 6-6 in the third map. This rematch from the major quarterfinal. And G2, it's not as easy this time around, but they are earning it. CT side overpass. They come in with the move, Sneeko, oh, that's uncomfortable, gets gooshed earlier on with a double push on short side, they'll take one, cleaning out B entirely. Nico hanging around in a very dangerous position, just trying to take one with him, but Mao's sneak back into the lowest site. 
Miko just being here enforces that B stack. Miles think, oh, G2 have overplayed it. They've got this info they've cleared. Maybe they've even left B. But careful, Nico, don't go too soon. The turn is quick, and Shui nails that headshot. Now G2 have to adjust, and Miles can pick their poison. G2 gamble heavy over at upper, but a shadow spotted for Nexus. Smoke in the way. Teammates coming up through short for exertion, and Nexa tries to tuck in. Hunter gets here just in time. Even though Nico has fallen, there's another Kovac to step up in the pistol round here for G2. And this gets awkward. Maus, they don't get the space. They don't get the room that they were hoping for. This leaves it down to the wire. It's a 20-second play into the B site. Hunter hasn't missed a beat in the pistol yet. And he's not about to start now. Four kills from him. And there's Hooks in to seal the deal. They can both use the pistols. What a glow up for Hunter in these playoffs as well. He did it again yesterday. He's doing it on the stage today. We call him the big game player. He has provided when G2 need him. And that is a perfect example. Four kills on the B-bomb site. That aggressive push to start it off. And it's not for naught. Mouse have a full eco. G2 will have a comfortable position on this CT side. And Miles need to dig deep into that five win streak on this map, show what they're made of when it hits rifles. It's great to see Hunter getting hyped up as well. Even in the games that G2 have been winning, if there's been like one person who hasn't given super overt reactions, it's often Hunter. At least the cross Chengdu so far. But he's kind of riding that high right now. This has been a very good series from Hunter. So we're just pistols here for Maus. That lead is about to get widened. G2 putting a bit of distance between them and this Maus squad. Maus don't mind that smoke. It lets them group up on Monster together. Waiting for the bomb. Playing G2 burn util, but there's another one. Now that one is annoying. Miles have to go gray screen out on this B hit or wait till the final few seconds. At that point, it might be clear to G2, but there's still three upper. Hooksy in tandem dropping down below now. There's the spam. That will reveal everything they need to know. 15 seconds on the monster rush. Nexa makes the money and gets the ace. Done and dusted. I'm honestly next. I heard you wanted an AWP because you've been such a good boy. Here it is. I was never meant to win that round, and they knew it. They have a very tall task ahead of them, right? Playing your final half of this semi series on the T side of Overpass. Not an easy oh, feat, but what? that is one hell of a way for it to open. Back on Ancient, all the smoke spam was coming up in favor of G2. Satoshi gives them a taste of their own medicine here. You get gifted an early 5v4 on the back of chance. Dumb luck. You'll take it. Make the most of it though. Still Monacy AWP, which enforces heavy B stack. G2 on those slouches are still trying to get that info, popping monster, figuring out where this stack lies. Monacy won't make the mistakes that Torshi did early in the half. He has a perfect angle underneath the smoke, getting aggressive. The time for this peak is awkward. They go together. Jimpat finds that kill, and Monacy won't even take a player with him. That's more like it for Maus breaking into this A site. 
in their first gun round, and there should be no way to stop this. Hooksy can molly, Hooksy can nade, but all it would be doing is delaying the inevitable. And the save call's already come through for G2. Bit of a disappointing way for this one to start, right? Nico never even gets to play the damn round, and Monacy caught on a torshy timing down towards short. Mouse can feel good about that one. What they really need is a streak to ignite this T side. Torshi continues. Next is going to go back and grab that gun. So for G2, they can still come through with rifles in this round. They get to keep it competitive. They've got one more chance to stop Mouse embarking. On quite the streak of rounds here. Just gonna laugh it off. Smoke spam. I don't know, no more death slamming from Nico. Yeah. Nothing you can do about that. Ooh. They don't elect to buy around the saved guns. I like this. They're gonna get a buy in the next round. They want an AWP on Monacy as well. Before sending this would be very expensive. You want to just maximize your gun rounds on CT side overpass. Boost setup is employed on B. Putting next up with the rifle. It's not the cleanest, but they get it done. Other mouths are nowhere to be seen. They know there's no AWP in this round, so they're just going to take that toilet control, smoke molly. Hooksy's other rifle on long, left to the loneliness of this position. Mouths want nothing to do with it. Even his re-aggression will be punished while she holds on for playground. Closer and closer, Mal's encroach the site. Luxi, barrel spotted, oh, dead. Oh, what? 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 Firing blanks. Of course, he gets another chance. He won't mess that one up. Exertion sitting inside the smoke. High risk, high reward, high punishment. But somehow, Hunter can't turn in time. Exertion. Dead after one, the trade is coming. Jimpat is there for it. There's only pistols now. Honestly, upgrades onto the Deagle. But this one should be too far gone. He's wrestling with that Deag and he can't get a handle over it. Run through by Jimmy and as Nico moves up into a lost top site. Just the Deagle by his sides. Pistols have treated this guy very well across this event. Across his whole career, but expecting the 1v3 with the Deeg. Wishful thinking. Gun right there. Oh, Mouse know about it. They try oh. and use it as bait. Cleanly done for one, but burns alive in the Molotov. Right it off. For G2, they had a chance to win that one, but they weren't expecting to. They saved to bring out guns here and now. That's crazy, that, that shot looked dead on for Torshi. And what a quick desertion. Almost just gets sidelined by Hunter. That would have been a very tumultuous round for Maus. Instead, they build back. No AWP here. Honestly, didn't want to glass it. Until to long it out, Hooksy jumps into spams, nothing lands. Going back for more would be a risk. Oh, Brolin. Cleanly done for the first kill, and now Mao's. They feel this round coming together nicely. You get the opener like that, some choices have to be made by G2, and they'll keep that stack down towards B, leaving Nico alone. Just jump spotting over at long. Mao's start to regroup over here in middle. If they win this round, that is a real knockout blow dealt to G2. It's not the start that G2 wanted.
These decisions, these gambles getting made as G2 pull everyone over towards the top side with the exception of Hunter. He's left alone down there at B. Util is lobbed into the B side from the Mouse squad, trying to conceal their true intention of hitting A. And that puts them right in the firing line of this stack, right in the firing line of all of G2. It's only Torshi left up against it now. And with 15 seconds, he just wants to keep this AWP in play, keep his life intact. G2, that decision to bring everyone back up has treated them well. So in a highly important round with their money on the line, with the lead in question, they're able to secure it. And that's while being on the back foot, while being a man down. Gonna need more than that if you wanna break him though. Now still riding the fumes of their first gun round. Torshi's orb supported. Oh, Back to middle. Is Diku going to take the risk again? He's, He's getting flashed. flashed in from Monacy. Going for it. Going for the throw. The orb somehow jumps out just in time and then comes sailing back through the smoke. Torshi is confident and it is showing. And Mouths have taken middle back in an instant. They never lost long. Zershin ran playground to get here. And with no orb in the G2 camp, it's up to Nico to re-aggress and get it done on his own. Monacy's just jump spotting for him. If they spot Monacy, they'll never be ready for Nico, but now he's gone back to the site. Nico shadow advantage and Nico advantage, but the boost up might be a remedy to this problem. Oh, that's a quick. Just the one and done, but in comes Monacy. Oh, no. Caught. A little too wide, a little too far. But the bomb lost over at long for Maus. They've got to go grab that. That's going to waste precious time here. They're not able to move into the site as a result. And with Hunter locking them out of B, Maus have got to commit. They've got to go into Hooksy's bomb site. Torshi scoped up. We've seen him miss a few of these timings on the scope. But he's clearing all these deep angles, running out of spaces for Hooksy to be. So they should be aware, Bank is a real possibility. Hooksy holding the line oh. dead immediately. As Jimmy moves in. This one falls just to Hunter. I mean, this part is perfect for Mouse as well. They have CT control, they have the line here locked out by Jimpat. So Hunter with a bomb, not for him. He's walking long. I don't see a world or a way he can win this round. Mouse are poised and ready. Orp on the line. And Hunter with so much ground. The only way is if Mal's overcook it and rotate. That bomb is a threat, but Torshi is still here, and Hunter is going for the sneaky play. He's been spotted. He will save, and Mal's get up to nine on this T side. What a double entry from Jimpat, despite Nico's heroics at long. One was not enough, and Jimpat crawling up short side, punishes a play from Monacy, and goes on to clear the bank. Beautiful work. It's not those flashy 4Ks, but it's high impact late in the game. And just what Maus needed to match G2 score. And this has been very brawly. There's been a lot of rounds traded back and forth. And that's to Maus's benefit right now. Once more, money problems for G2. And this late in the game, that is a big problem. Falling down in that round could have costed G2 everything. They put money in. They fall by here. This is where G2 try and make their stand. If they don't find success, there is but one rifle round between G2 Falling shy of the grand finals here in Chengdu. This will be a devastating blow. I mean, whoever loses is going to be absolutely shattered. A long, hard-fought battle. Oh, look at this play. Is this a triple boost? For Monster, they hear a guy there, but it's Brolin they got to worry about getting closer and closer. On the short side, he sees a tower, and it comes crumbling down. 
dropping Hunter, damaging Monacy, and more importantly, getting the info on this B stack. So they're going to aggress A, look elsewhere, try and find Nico, who is the sole bastion of hope on this top site. Even Monacy moving in shouldn't be enough on such low health. A shot from death. If they find Nico, this round may be over before it begins. And wanna, considering he's committed, he needs a multi kill. Don't want to spam this because you're trying to be quiet. And so the only way they learn about Nico is the hard way. Yeah. Chewie has to clear this, has to check this, oh. and he will. Nico's shot in the back. The flash gives it away. G2 still have bodies up at the top site. Monacy behind the dice box. Has to be a dice roll of a round. Needs something to go his way, and it won't. Mao's breakthrough, this G2 force by crumbles around them. Slow crawls on the A site is just so effective. And if you look at G2 in the CT side, all you remember is they've not had this AWP. Monacy had one round with it, one round, all half. And ever since he's lost it, they've not established economy. They've been trading rounds. And Mao's just keep going for these slow crawls on top site. That's why G2 are just relying on someone to get a multi-kill. And unlucky timing for Nico on the, on the flash push. Previously, he had one on long. Monacy got one. But if Mao's are trading on top site, they're winning these post plants. Just fantastic entry work on A on this T side. And with no Monacy highlight reel, like how he broke VP yesterday, that 3K in toilets on CT. This is what it looks like. The slow roll of mouths crushing G2 under their weight. Because of how they bought here, to expand on that point even more, there's not going to be an AWP for Monacy. It's never going to make another appearance. Not unless G2 win that rifle round that's coming up next. So there's a world where Monacy only got to play with that AWP once in this entire second half. And it's finally felt like the tournament where it's not just been the Monacy, sh the Monacy show and G2 don't just need to, need to rely on one guy. But if there were any position you'd want him in, it would be this one. This round to wash, even with the stack. No hope, no faith. Surely not, but Nexa responds. Suddenly G2 up in arms, armed and dangerous. And a man up. Jimmy's going back in towards B. They know that all three players are here, but they're playing to contain. They're playing to keep G2 trapped. It's going to come down to a clutch. Who will it be? At this point, the last thing Nexta expects is for exertion to follow through and go B, surely. Every bone in your body tells you he goes up towards the A site. Great position from Nexa, though. He's going to play safe. He'll get the info. The lack of kit's a problem. He can't let Zershan get out of the site after the plant. Will Zershan go for the plant? Does he want more? Bloodlust, perhaps. He needs to clear positions. Nexa's not biting. And Zershan getting closer and closer. Will this just be it? Will he go for the stink? Nexa, perfect position. Molly will do nothing. The round in the palm of his hands. This is everything for oh! G2, but he can't take it! Cheeky! Exertion! Just comes swinging! Barreling off the bomb plant, and he nails the headshot. Nexa did everything right. The X Factor back in exertion, and Maus are so close. Look at that shot. You take that, you take that every day, and you mention it, Harry. No AWP again for G2. That is a serious tool removed from the arsenal. The best AWPer in the world has not got to touch it in the final half of play here on Overpass. So it's in these moments you look to the rifle stars of G2. You look at Nico, you look at Hunter. This has to be their round. This has to be their moment. That's not a bad way for it to start. Nico with the first. Hooksy doesn't want to throw away that man advantage. 
Something that so often eluded the G2 squad. So they tuck tail and run. They play the 5v4. Cars just going to execute here. They are so grouped right now on this B side. They're holding T-spawn for a flank. Luckily enough, G2 have swapped bodies, moved the third man in. Niku's going back up. Torshi looks for this entry kill, but not a line given up. Not an angle conceded. A jiggle. Knowing the orb is here is huge info. G2 are now ready for a hit. Very strong down in the B site. Nico Amonesi re aggroing over on A as well. And we'll leave them far removed from the action here if Maus stick to their guns and finish on B. It will be a long time before any support is available down on this B site. And Maus are not budging. They believe in the B call. This round is essentially for the game. Maus, can they stick the landing? Can they overcome their playoff woes? Hunter opens up with one. Hooksy there to help alongside him. Torshi missed oh, shot dear. on the AWP. He's it. had a couple of chances to find this incision. No Shui sure does bring them back into the fold with that kill. Hooksy waiting, run out and run through, but Monacy gets there just in time. He picks it up as well, not just the round, but the orb as G2 now need three in a row to close this series, to head to the grand final. Mao's the pressure mounting. That was their easiest chance. It's only gonna get harder from here on out. Huge hold for G2. Timeouts have been burned. monacy has been waiting a very long time for this AWP. Just saw him and Nico having a discussion there. That's going to be about how they want to use this up, how they want to play with him in the top site on it. And monacy has a good spawn, and he plays this side of the map alone. monacy has been waiting all half for his chance to don the AWP. And this is more of a standard approach, right? 4B, Monacy, he starts toilets early for a pick. He doesn't get it. He's back on bomb site already. And because Maus don't know this, they have to waste a lot of time clearing out the map. Maus are looking towards long right now. That seems crazy, knowing this AWP is in play. Does that change the game? Because up until now, Maus have not had to consider it. Slow and steady, but they're starting to realize just how open the map is. That tells you one thing, that he sits on the site. Smoke up close. They're trying to make life awkward for this orb. Made on it, but Monacy is not rewarded. Not yet. This has to be the crowning moment for the AWP. Nico and Hooksy are here to lend a helping hand. This is their round. All eyes on Monacy as that smoke fades on the long side. He's missed the timing. He's missed the timing. Arm scene. Exertion's got him in a bag. And Nico oh. is overrun. The orb never fires a bullet as Maus pull up. Couldn't do it at the major, but on a cold night in Chengdu, they are one round away. And they're even looking to rub soul in the wound, insult to injury. Hunter, they want to remove everything from the G2 Cup, but they will. I have never seen a game where the orbs on both halves have just been so close, eluded by the scope, eluded by the corner, centimeters from success. Torshi in the same boat. Monacy avoided here and now, and Zershan puts on his entry hat for a double kill into the stack. G2 crumble. They don't have a penny to rub together. And this is it, the best shot Maus will ever get at breaking the playoff loss streak to phase to G2.
with a grand final within touching distance here in Chengdu. Oh, mid-air for Jim Pat. And the first kill on their way to those grand finals. They said this time would be different. They asked us to trust the process. Touting lessons learned. And they might pass that final exam now. One man up in the top side, it's Monacy with a deagle. And this has been the bread and butter. Mal slow crawling A. All four, all five rather, walking side by side, trading these entry kills and winning on this top side. They've done it in every round against all odds. And they're going to do it to go to those grand finals. They're finally about to get their flowers. There are two players standing in their way. Hootsy left in the sight alone. And Maus, they've gotten over those nerves. They embrace the big stage. They're looking to do good on it. A month's long promise. Get revenge for Copenhagen and show the growth of this roster. Mao's uncharted waters now as they move on to the grand finals. And they do it by taking down the stage team, the home favorite in Chengdu. G2 sent packing as Mao's on the forbidden map, on the map that was never